Pakatan Harapan has called on the government to step up their fight against corruption. This came following an increase in news related to alleged corrupt acts. In a statement today, the Pakatan Harapan Presidential Council cited revelations made in two ongoing high-profile graft trials. They highlighted the testimony of the former Chief Secretary to the government, Mohammad Saidek Hassan, in the 1MDB trial, where he said he did not attend any 1MDB advisory board meetings, despite being appointed into the board with monthly wages of 30,000 ringgit. They also cited AMNO President Ahmad Zahid Hamidi's trial, where a former director of Ultra Kirana Sindirian Berhad alleged that Zahid had received between 200,000 to 520,000 Singaporean dollars a month. They added that the former director had also implicated Kairi Jamaluddin with claims that contributions of between 50,000 to 200,000 ringgit were made to AMNO's Rambau division. The director had claimed that contributions were made to the AMNO division as political aid and for disaster relief and humanitarian activities. Another former UKSB director had also testified that money from the company to Zahid was a political donation and not for corrupt purposes. Pakatan Harapan said both cases are particularly troubling, not only because they involve senior political figures, but also key civil service figures. They said therefore, few reforms and few actions need to be implemented by the government immediately, including expediting the political funding bill and placing the MACC under the jurisdiction of parliament.